I remember the first picture I really liked. It was such a beautiful orange light all over the like amazing lava and the, and the volcanoes. And I got the picture in my hands from it processing. I'm like, wow, I can create my own world. Like, this is just a normal world. And now it's all become so beautiful because of the sun and the light. It's like, I, f I felt like I had created some magical world. I'm so thankful for my childhood because that has inspired so much how I am today. I'm from Iceland. I grew up in the countryside in a beautiful national park called Thingvallir. It's basically a national park. And there's just one house in the middle and my mom was a ranger. So like, yeah, it was basically just one house and no children to play with or mm. beautiful landscape. You can almost feel the history in the air. I got my first camera when I was only eight years old. My dad gave me like a small 35 mil meters um, camera. I was always stealing his camera and he was just scared I would break it so he gave me my own camera and I hadn't stopped taking photos since. My mom, yeah, she ha she's very special. Um, she, um, she's really beautiful and she has this like grey long hair. She's like, her hair is still like, it's like grey thick ha mm. hair. She, she makes, uh, she knits. She makes these amazing knits. All my family is a very complicated personality so our way of expression is to like make things or like, like if we have like, if we feel if we're not feeling good, so for some reason we make things, we make beautiful things, like collect things around us just to make us feel good because we're such complicated souls, I guess. Some people collect stamps or computer games, but I like to collect like beautiful, amazing dresses, colors, and I love prints and I love texture and I love mixing things together. I really like vintage. I've always been like. A I'm a very big vintage fan because that's how I started becoming interested in fashion because I was working in this vintage store so I'm like an avid vintage collector but now like um, I work a lot with young designers so I really like wearing like young designers clothes I have uh, used like wet eyeliner just like make dots and like it's kind of like I'm trying to like make it quite 60s but it's like kind of a modern version of it I'm wearing these um, printed jumpsuits it's really, um, I really love the print. It's so colorful and it's like watercolor. I feel like I'm wearing a painting. I don't have any flats, so I'm usually always wearing high heels. I think, especially with platforms, they're so comfortable. Like, mm. you can always like stomp around in them. Yeah. <laughs> and I love to wear um, colorful tights. And if, um, if I'm wearing black, I wear black tights, but always if I'm wearing a colorful dress, I always wear colorful tights. Mm. It makes more sense to me. I feel if I'm wearing um, black dress and pink tights, it's that's, I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> My cape, I think it's so beautiful. It's like pleated. It's quite gothic, but I, I think it's really, really beautiful. When I first started taking photographs, I shot on film. So yeah, when I was only eight. But I, then I moved to digital. I thought like film photography is like so boring. A few years ago, I started taking on film again. Digital is kind of scary. It's just like pixels on a... Yeah. Right. I really like the texture of film, how it captures light, you know, that's kind of, yeah, I, it's just like how I like to tell my stories. When yeah. I first moved to London, I was really overwhelmed, like, coming from America, it was very small, and coming to London, I was so, like, yeah, it was overwhelming, because so much things going on, and for six months, I was just kind of, yeah, I just was hiding myself, like, I, I couldn't take any photos, it was really weird, I just cut this creative block, I think, but after six months, something happened, there's like a, like an explosion inside myself and I haven't been stopping taking photos since. My favorite thing in the world is not going to an amazing party. It's going to the store at Tate Modern or like going to a bookstore, buying a book, go to the cafe and look at it and drink more coffee. That's like my favorite thing. I'm just really interested in like seeing how religion has affected culture and like of, like women and like it has such a big um, impact on like society. Like back in the days like young young um, women they wrote in the diaries how I must want to be a better persona and like and like like do this and that. But now like girls, um, religion like fashion is almost like religion. Like girls look to Vogue or like fashion magazines to see how they can improve body instead of like to become a better person. I think it's kind of interesting to see all all these kind of like changes in society and kind of culture and like consumption and all this kind of how this kind of yeah kind of mixes together. And the best thing my parents taught me when I was young always to like appreciate things. I was never jealous as a child. They would tell me like never to be jealous because I think jealousy is like the most horrible thing in the world. I think it's like, of, like, of all evil things, it's like jealousy. And to be able to like appreciate other people's work, tell them if you like, like something, be honest about things, like that's such an important thing, I guess, for me.